What is up, everyone? A little echo in here. Um, I don't really like that. I do really like the live end. Before I start this, um, I'm aware now, and I found out probably about an hour after. It's not 420. Like an hour after I posted all that shit. Another side note, I know I look like shit. Yesterday was really ups and downs and ups and downs and ups and downs. And so with this corona, as I will say it, I do not give no fucks. But with this virus going around, <clears throat> I don't know why the fuck I'm whispering. I can pay rent. I don't know why the fuck I'm in the bathroom. I pay rent. But it's already too late and I got music playing. Where is it? Okay. So I need to start doubting myself. Maybe give myself some credit. I need to put some respect on myself. So. So yesterday, lots of ups and downs, and basically what I was saying was with this virus, everyone's staying inside, uh, most people are not working, and if they are working, they are working from home. I am very blessed to be in a position and have a mindset that I am my own boss and I have passive income coming in regardless of what situation I don't even have to be here on this planet, bro. Like, when I die, there's still gonna be money being made. Regardless. At first, I wanted just to chill, try to record music. And it just didn't work. I don't really know what to say about that. Um, it's not believing in myself. It's not thinking that what I create or what I do is good enough. And I always want to do better. about two or three days like completely doing nothing um, and staying ghost on social media and shit and I felt so trapped more trapped than usual chronic depression is a bitch I'm starting to realize how I am as a person and how to control this, my mental. I said this and people are really like, yeah, your hair is pretty fucking like, I don't know how you do that. Besides the point. <laughs> basically feel like I can never do enough because I know I could always do more um Everything girls will probably be the death of me. And I'm just gonna be fucking honest 
and real with y'all as possible because then I look less crazy. I can act less crazy and I can actually explain shit. You know what I'm saying? Without fucking this nerd. Okay, whatever. So basically. I had a situation. Uh, maybe about three months ago. Maybe even four months. It's crazy how time fucking flies. And that relationship went fucking south out of nowhere. And then I had an ex hit me up who y'all might remember. I was about to say no, but I don't think I ever did a video with with her. I try not to do that with people, just I don't want people coming up off my name. I don't want to use the word clout because as a grown man, that sounds fucking childish, in my opinion. <laughs> but I've been dealing with a lot of self-worth issues mentally. And then with her, I've been dealing with a lot of I'll finally be chill. I'll finally be like, yes. I, I, I got my shit under control. I'm not a fucking deadbeat. Like, my money's good. Like, I'm good. You know what I'm saying? And then I'll say some shit, like, on the phone or through text. And when I say it, I'm saying it to boost my own ego. In a very narcissistic but helpful way for my depression. And people will think that I'm talking about them, more importantly, her. Um, she is in a very weird situation. that I don't think she understands and I would not even try to come close to understanding. The point I'm trying to get to exactly is I don't feel, and this is just my opinion, from what I've witnessed and how she's acted, I might want her more than she wants me. And I kind of already felt that way because, like I said, y'all might know her because we dated before. And I don't know if I said it before. I don't break up with girls. Like, I don't think I ever broke up with a girl. Ever. <laughs> wow. See, when I sit down and think about shit and talk about it out loud, I start realizing, yeah, that's really, really fucked up with some of the girls I've dated. Not like recent within the past seven or eight years. Like before that, like bro, you would think like, then I was, like, fuck, like fucked up all the time, bro. And most likely I was. Most likely I was. Because that's about, like, middle school, high school days. But. It's my abandonment issues growing up. When I have something, regardless of it being toxic or even good in general, you know, I try to keep it. I try to maintain, you know, it is always, it's always good to stay 
kind and care about people, but to a certain degree. Like, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to get too into, like, personal situations. Because, like I said, that girl's, like, way, way, way bad. And I changed from fucking kids stealing shit at Walmart and stealing shit from my fucking friends to fucking having my own shit and fucking people making money through me and not having to worry about this or that or fucking, you know what I'm saying? I don't give myself enough credit. But when I start gassing myself up, people think, nah, nah, nah. You know what I'm saying? Like, people look at me, they see all this, and they say, bro, you look, you look crazy. You know what I'm saying? But it's not that way. They don't know what led up to the outcome. Some of y'all who used to watch me, y'all know I was not this fucking all over the place mentally. I was not fucking as hyper. I was not fucking just mentally insane, bro. Because I am. And it's something I just got to fucking admit to myself that I got to learn to live with and deal with. Without getting too personal, I feel like my options, like my logical options for the girl I was talking about, is either C, like play off what she gives me. Like if she calls me in the morning, good morning, like I'll do the same thing. Like that night, like call her good night, you know what I'm saying? Or just not take the chance, not take the risk for my depression, for my my anxiety, my fucking just whole mental state, bro. And just say, fuck it. Like, I don't think we can be in a relationship, but like, I can be friends with you. Then again, I don't want to do that because I'm not that type of person who can be friends with someone who they ever been in love with or ever cared about that deeply. I'm not asking y'all, and y'all could leave if y'all really fucking care. Some input, but I don't need advice. I don't want advice. It's something I need to figure out on my own. And that's what I was telling him the other day. Because he was fucking hovering over my shoulder, trying to help me do something. I'm just like, bro, I got it. Like, if I don't teach myself to do things on my own, like when I don't have that those people around me, or if I don't have those people in my life at all, who will I have, bro? I don't think people understand that. Like, it's good to have people around. It's good to have a team. But if you can't do shit on your own, what are you doing? Something I maybe said or talked about three times at the most (laughs) since living on my own for almost about half a year now. If something was to happen to my grandmother and I wasn't doing this and then, you know, and none of this happened, I would have nowhere to go. 
I would have no money. I would I wouldn't have anything. But my dad, if something happened to her and my dad, I wouldn't have no one. And I thought childish for at least a few years, and I've had people <laughs> tell me the same shit, to in the childish mindset of, oh, well, you got inherent, you got inherent, you know, like, you could, you could do, you could do this, or this, like, that's cool, but if you ain't got the mindset to go out and get it, like, fucking, you're a fucking sitting duck, bro, not to mention houses, taxes, fucking all the, you know, all the shit I'm paying now, times about three to four, on top of the taxes, because I don't pay taxes here, just, you know what I'm saying, does that make sense to y'all, because sometimes I just feel like I'm talking to a wall, and I don't mean anyone in particular, because I told him that earlier day, and he thought I was talking about him. That girl thought I was talking about her. Like people assume because they know that they are that type of person. Deep down, and they just don't want to admit it. And I have said, and it's funny because when his dad was the one who told me, a real man will admit when he's wrong. A real man will admit. And that's real. Because I've never admitted something that I've done wrong and it not hurt me deep down in some type of way to some type of capacity. But I think that's just a mindset of being human. You know, you want to be right. You want to problem solve. The only problem is you don't have to. You know what I'm saying? You can have a perfect relationship built off fucking Tinder or fucking me and someone on Facebook. It don't matter. But when you can live your life with just minim minimalistic. It don't matter. Like, that's what people really didn't realize before the whole fucking virus going around. Now, shit's different. Shit's different for safety. But before that, like, the world is your fucking, like, playground, bro. Like, think of Minecraft. You just got this open space. You look around and you see buildings and shit that wasn't always there, bro. Like everything was put here or made here. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm, I should have just said made here. But I'm high as hell, bro. Cheers. I was talking my shit. And I say, and this was, uh, by the way, when I say talking my shit, what I mean by that is just a term I use. I've never heard anyone else say or use this term in this way. But basically, what I mean is just like fucking just spreading my message, being positive, like. I'm the man, you know, gassing myself up, basically. I just say, fucking pop my shit, talking my shit, like. <laughs> that, I don't know where I got it at all. Fucking that, and I was thinking about it earlier in the bathroom. Fucking on God, on God. <laughs> fucking, I was saying that every fucking 
other word like two, three months ago. Like, did it on God, did it on God, did it on God, like, no cap. <laughs> oh shit, I'm stupid. Cheers. my family today I missed it two weeks ago and then last week the fucking store was out of meat and shit so I haven't seen my fucking nana and my dad and I know I see I seen them but I haven't seen them together and fucking chilled with them at least three months Three, three months, three weeks, if my math is right. And I myself. <laughs> I notice I either fucking pop my shit or fucking sit here and just, I myself, just repeat myself. And more or less, it's from being nervous because back, like, it's been a long time, but back when I used to make YouTube, like, a lot, a lot, I would just sit there and lean back, chill. I might, I might be in, in silence for like a minute or two, you know what I'm saying? I just had time to catch my breath. Catch my thoughts. I feel like my mindset is in a whole better place and more logical place to where I don't have to think as much to make it make sense and to make it logical, you know, more or less. Spot my shit if I can get dehydrated as hell. Story, because I see it sending right there. I was about to say it irritated me last night, and I don't care now, but no, it's still irritating me. Um, so remember how I was saying earlier how about I get like chill. And then, you know, like, somewhat, or I don't know if I did say it, actually. I might have just said the story. But basically, I have no free time. I've said that before. I was sitting here. He had went to the store. Got some Coke, got some Red Bull. I was like, fuck it. I got some extra money. Get some beer. Get some beer. You know? <laughs> but I didn't want to drink. Get depressed and shit. So I wanted to make sure my mindset was good. So. Fucking 30 minutes. Fucking hour goes by. I start chilling down. I'll watch a, a YouTube video or two. I start smoking. Fucking. Probably two, three hours later. No cap. Like, think about that. That's like four or five hours. So, just think about that, really. This is every fucking day. After four to five hours, I sit here. I'm just like, you know what? Let me get a beer. So I open one, start drinking. I'm just like, 
Shit, I've, I've really not had beer in a while because I can taste alcohol like a bitch. So I kind of like tough it out. Just drink, you know, smoke, drink, smoke, drink, you know. Not heavy, heavy, but just sit. I basically go through things three. I'm just starting to get chill, like chill, chill, like, uh, yeah, nah, like, you know, they talking like that and shit, like, I was high as fuck, and oh, high as hell, I was high as fuck, you know what I'm saying, and she hits me up, why did she hit me up? Because I didn't hit her back all day. When's the last time we talked? That morning? At like 1 o'clock? No, it was 1 o'clock. And what was the last thing we talked about? I don't give a shit. I already said it. But the last thing we talked about was my abandonment issues, me still caring about her, and me not knowing if she cared about me as much. I sobered up like that, bro. I don't think I ever sobered up that fucking fast. Uh, it's just like that is why I know deep down I don't need a relationship I'm not in the state of mind and I might not be ready Exactly. For that. You know what I mean? And it's hard for me to say because that's what I always wanted. It was just love. From a female. And it's just because I didn't have a mom growing up. I didn't have the motherly love. It's just fucked up, bro. My my whole life is fucked up. Because my mental is fucked up. Because my life is fucked up. <laughs> uh, that's some real shit. I need to stop doing that. But I watched a video last night and it was Jack Harlow. They said, like, they were doing, like, an in, in or out thing. And they said, touching your face. And it's just, like, shit, I was real big into it. But with this going on, like, you can't, like, you gotta wash your hands. Like, you're doing a lot of that. I'm still bad, bro. Especially with this desk. Like, I try to have some manners. But... Sometimes I forget, and sometimes I, I just don't give a fuck. Like, my nails, I ain't trying to show them off too much, because they look like shit. I need to repaint that one, and they look like shit. <sighs> but yeah. If I don't realize it, you know, how am I going to remember what I was just talking about over it. So touching your face. And he was like, yeah, but that shit's out now. And real talk. And I hope after all this clears, people are cleaner. Because as humans, that's just better for our race. Like, 
we'll go more places, we'll do more things if we're just cleaner as people in general. And I've always been OCD, it runs in my family, but like, deep down, I, I'm just saying that because I'm, I'm so fucking OCD. Like, honestly, deep down, this is the very narcissistic, fucking depressed, fucking, this is the me that paints his nails, but as bad as it sounds, and keep in mind, I said the narcissistic, fucking me who want, you know, fucking me who wants to die lately. I want, I shouldn't say it because people can clip it, but this virus got bigger and everyone or most people were to die off and it was like a huge, like everything's abandoned and shit. Like there's only like a few hundred people in the actual world. I wouldn't be too Bad. I tiptoed around that so no one could cut the audio clip by the way. Any other thing I would have just fucking straight up said. But I know people can cut audio clips and make people look a lot worse than what they are. And with the virus, fuck no, I don't want it. That, I don't want no one coming around saying they got corona. I want no one coming around. I'm coughing around me, if I'm coughing around other people around me. Because, like, if I know them and they're around me and they're coughing, like, and I'm bringing it around, like, the fuck? You know what I'm saying? Cheers. Get to back. Get back. This bowl fucking burned my hand. My bad. To get back to what I was saying, I think in the bathroom earlier. I know it's earlier, beginning of the video. I keep on trying to hold those hits in while talking. I don't know why I keep on thinking it's gonna work. <coughs> Would be nice if it did. <coughs> but basically, thing about 420. I thought it was 420. The reason why is I don't know. So, you know how we have like January, February, March. Like, I don't know the order. I don't. Wait, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, November, December. Wait. Let me know if that's right. If anyone is watching this, let me know if that is right. Back to what I was saying. I don't know my months in order. I just know the months by numbers. Because I grew up wearing a G-Shock. And that's how it is on a G-Shop. But I looked at my phone and my phone says the name of the month. And it said 20. I knew 420 was coming up because I've been fucking splurged online. I thought that was home. But... I just looked at the, the 20 and thought, oh, 4, 20. It, it, it's deeper than that because I ordered a package from China. I shouldn't, have, I shouldn't say that either. But anyways, I ordered something that is coming from very far away, right? And it said it will be here. 20. Um, my grandmother 
let me know yesterday that I had a package. So I was like, shit, that might be that package. And that package is just like, fucking, it was after a long fucking binge of being stressed, being broke, and getting like fucking that one fucking payday where you're just like, okay, now I can pay you the bills, now I got this, like, let me eat good, fucking let me, let me buy some Red Bull, like, you know what I'm saying? So, me and fucking Fire Flame went crazy. We went crazy on some fucking uh, AirPod cases, some fucking AirPod accessories. Why? Why the fuck? What the fuck? So the AirPod what? AirPod accessories. Fucking check this. I might I might hit this first. But this is gonna be some of the funniest shit y'all ever heard. Trust me. Trust me. Okay. So y'all might be like, AirPod accessories. What is that? Is it a charging cable? Is it like a fucking... What is that? So basically... <laughs> Shout out Shoe Nice, man. I'll be just better. A little side note. But, um... I had to catch my train of thought again. <laughs> so we got the cases. Those AirPods, you know. Case is nice. And if you got a case, some cases have like a little clip and put around your belt loop or something. You know, pull on your bag. It makes it a little bit easier to carry around. You know, whatever. That makes sense. That makes sense. When I say AirPod accessories, this is what I mean. It's a fucking cable. It's about like that. It has little silicone rings. You fucking. Make your wired head or your wireless headphones wired. Don't tell me that ain't some bougie ass shit. Tell me that ain't some flexing ass shit. Fucking buy AirPods just to have them wired. I don't know. I think. I Bro, I feel like I'm gonna be starting trans, bro. Like, I got mine now, I got my mind right. Like, I feel like I'm gonna be starting trans, bro. Like, for real. <laughs> Another one that I don't think, you know, is that big of a deal. I don't think it's that cool, really. But it's just a little silicone, or it's just a little clip with silicone. Hoops on one side and then clips on the other. You just clip it to your belt loop, a bag, or whatever. And same difference. You got your headphones without the case. So I can have them wired without the case. I just thought about that. And yeah, that's actually bougie as a motherfucker. Like, bro. Bro. (laughs) 
I'm so photo stupid. I think I told you all about me ordering the Pokeballs and shit. But, like, I got Fire Flame to get me a vape at the store. And he ended up picking up this blue vanilla. Still got the box because I was going to Instagram it. Forgot. Then forget because I've had it for about a week now. And I don't really fuck with it too much because it tastes like coffee creamer. I don't know if you'll see it on the box, but it is 2.4, not 5. So, yeah, it's a little bit below on the nicotine side you gotta hit it a few times and the coffee creamer taste gets a little a little weird tasting after a while especially when you're smoking or drinking like soda or red bull or something i definitely don't blame with red bull when i say that i yeah. am <laughs> mm -mm. mm -mm. but i'm trying to think what i was saying Oh, wait, yeah. So, when he got this, it had a little baggie it came in. Which, yeah. So, I just fucking threw that away. But, I think it had a fucking resale thing. I can't remember. Because this bitch was fucking really nicely packaged. But, it had a piece of silicone right here over the cap. Another thing, I've never seen one disposable with multi holes. And the air, or the fucking, yeah, basically the air is right there instead of at the end. It's like with these. So basically, story, a little short story time, going off top a little bit, but fuck it. It's my channel. These light up blue at the end, as y'all seen. So does this. I think every every disposable vape does. When you're in a car and someone else is driving, it is really uh, like, especially when you're in the back seat, it's very distracting. And it will throw someone off. So I try to cover it. Like, I don't know if y'all heard, but the more I did it, the more I noticed shit I can't cover. So I had to fucking make like a little, which in a dark cart, you can still kind of see. This one, on top of that, I was saying it was lower in nicotine. It was a little bit hard to find, especially when your eyes look and blind as hell. A no card cap, you know what I'm saying? To get back on topic, so it came with the silicone piece, and I kept that bitch for a few days, trying to be like shit. I want to use it for something, cause I'm a little MacGyver. Like, I don't know, it's a little hobby of mine. I like fucking with shit, fucking making shit, building shit. Like, it's fun. So I look at, fucking look at the Pokeball that I've been having over here. And I'm just like, maybe that could fit on the analog. Cause I was looking again some new accessories for that fucking explosion. I'm mad a little bit, you know what I'm saying? But uh I got my pocket knife out. I measured that bitch. 
and like a fucking razor. I fucking, I'll show you. Cause it's too nice to explain. Fucking Gerber. Hell yeah. This bitch is, is surgical stainless steel. There's a difference. There's a difference. But basically, put it perfect. Put it on that bitch. And since I've had on like, oh, I had to send staring at it, bro. Like, god damn that bitch. I got that bitch so fucking perfect. Wow. I don't know. It. Low key, kind of impressed with myself on that. Without being that. Intuitive. I was thinking like, damn, what if I got one that had a clear silicone and then I was like, wait, I got a clear silicone. I remembered it's for the other vape, which is square. So even though this is low nicotine, I probably would have not bought it just for that reason. The vanilla flavor, eh, it's a little cool. Fireflame got it. For whatever reason. I figured that out for whatever reason. If that's not proof that the universe, like, everything happens for a reason, I don't know what isn't. And that's just one fucking example, bro. Yeah. I'm probably gonna get off here because I'm not making a movie. And it's still gonna upload. I don't know exactly how the Wi-Fi is gonna be acting. So, I'm gonna like, hit y'all guys back in the next one. Let me know if y'all like the longer videos or if y'all just prefer me to sh stick, stick. <laughs> if y'all prefer the stick of the longer videos, I like that. I wanna stick with that. Like, I meant to say that. You know what I'm saying? And my mouth is dry, so. So I keep on licking my lips. I didn't see gummies. They taste very good. And I, I should not have vitamin gummies because. I got a fucking sweet tooth. All their cavities. And I can't control myself from eating gummies. I don't know what point I was getting at with that. Basically, vitamin C gummies help your immune system, and okay, I don't know where I was going with that. Hold up, fucking something about dry mouth. And on that note. I'll leave it there. Be sure to spread nothing but peace, love, positive vibes. Be sure to go out. Fucking go around. Fucking no, don't go around. Change up. Scratch up. Sometimes I forget. I like doing all this hand shit in the end. Like it's fun. Cause like these videos put me in a good vibe, in a good mood, good mind state. And when I get off, honestly, like, I, I know I'm going to be listening to some music for going to turn up and shit.
Yeah, I get to see my family in fucking a few hours, so I'm happy about that too. You know what I'm saying? I got shit going for me, bro. I got shit going for me. I just fucking need to look at the brighter side. Anyways. We're actually going out because of the virus. Oh, and I'm out of the bitch. That's another reason I'm getting off. But I can't even stay on topic for a fucking second, bro. With this virus, scratch going out, just call and text people who you care about. Or if you're a YouTuber, you know, or you're on social media, just put positivity into people's life. Drop people a DM, call them, text them, you know what I'm saying? Make sure they're doing good. Ask them, like, personal shit, if you're, like, if you know them like that, like, don't surprise them on some just random shit, like, fucking, hey, I know you fucking keep your bathroom dirty, like, is your bathroom clean, like, you know this shit's going around, like, fucking make them laugh, bro, like, people let this shit get so bad to where people are taking it too serious. There's a gnat. There's a gnat every morning. <laughs> this place sucks. See, I lose my strength. I thought, hold up. But people get too... Oh, that irritates me. It really irritates me. I see why I don't do longer videos anymore. Hold up. Hmm. People didn't take this thing serious. Like when it wasn't as big to a point where it got so big to where people are somewhat overreacting on a certain degree. Like, stocking up on hand sanitizer, stocking up on this. Like, it is going to be as bad as, you know, fucking a, a zombie apocalypse, really. But I watched a video last night that made a good point. Like, those people doing that don't realize... They're making stores and shit run out, like disinfectant, and paper towel, toilet paper, like all that shit. Uh, rubbing alcohol, like all that shit. I'm pretty sure bleach is probably out, like he said Coke was out, like fucking crazy shit, bro. Like fucking Grog's dog too said, you know, like a oh, water, water's a big thing. But it's just like then there's other people who don't have it and who can't get it and can't find it. It just it makes it easier for that to be the outcome. Because it would just spread more easy. If that makes sense. I feel like I'm rambling because I know I am. But yeah. I'm gonna get off here. It's just for nothing but peace and love. And as always, sure to go out, change the world, spread positivity, make an arm pop like a bitch, <sighs> make the world a better place, make sure you leave a mark, and me motivating y'all to motivate other people is changing the world just in that small way. Just remember that small small actions have big outcomes. Sure it's right now, but peace, love and positive vibes. As always, peace.